members of the University Council, let me, at this point in time, very especially Dr. Usman at Bugaje, who is the guest lecturer on this very important occasion. Also, to the right Honorable Aisha Tujibir Duku, the Gimbir Duku, former Minister of State for Education and former member of the House of Representatives. Of course, we also have a former, another former member of the House of Reps, Honorable Ahmed Abubakar Yunusa, Minister of Stars, Honorable Omar Ahmed Suleiman Afada, also here with us. Our royal fathers that are here, let me recognize the representative of His Royal Highness, the Emir of the Alaji, Dr. Abubakar Shehu Abubakar III, CFR. Of course, we have the Mai Tangale also here with us, and all other traditional rulers that are here. We want the Executive Council accompanying His Excellency the Governor. We warmly acknowledge your presence. Staff and students of this great university, ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you all and a warm welcome to this pre-convocation lecture on the occasion of the 10th, 11th, 12th and 13th combined convocation of the Gombe State University holding today, Friday 6th October 2023. The topic for today's discussion is education and development the challenge of content competence and character in nigerian universities and this lecture is to de be delivered by none other than dr usman bugaje let's appreciate our guest lecturer please <laughs> to welcome Distinguished guests here, let me invite the Vice Chancellor of this great university, Professor Ali Usman El Nafati OFR, to please come forward and do the needful. Let's appreciate the Vice Chancellor. Students, are you not here? I want to believe students are here. Greetings, Nigerian students. The Vice Chancellor is coming, so let me hear some chants. Uh -huh. Thank you, students. Your Excellency, the Governor of Gambia State, Alaji Muhammadu Inumaya, here, C-O-N. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Gambia State, the Honorable Minister of Transportation, Senator Saidu Amir Al-Kali, the Speaker of the Gambia House Assembly, our guest speaker, Dr. Usman Bugaji, the chairman of the Governing Council, Gambia State University, Vice Chancellors present here, our royal fathers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome each and every one of you to this very important occasion. It is part of the university tradition that whenever we have convocations or activity or events like this, we invite scholars, individuals in different perspectives to come and give a lecture. Sometimes these lectures come of solution, strategies for the university or the nation in so many perspectives. And today's lecturer is not the other person than Dr. Osman Bukje, who is a MOC disciplinary scholar starting from a pharmacist, going through, later become a politician, to social critic, to into so many perspectives. I don't want to preempt the citation anyway, uh, but I assure you, you're going to enjoy this uh, lecture this evening. So ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all, and also wish you a happy listening for today's lecture. Thank you, and good evening.
Thank you so very much. Um, confirm. Thank you very much, students. Thank you. We know you love your VC, and we also love him very, very well. And he's doing very, very well at this university. Thank you so very much. Rekti, the visitor to Gombe State University. Hello. Distinguished guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite the chairman of this great occasion and the executive secretary of Tate Fund, architect Sonny St. Echono, OON, to please give his own remarks as chairman of the occasion. Thank you very much. The executive secretary okay of the national commission for colleges of education is also here so we warmly recognize you please thank you acting i mean the cj gombe state is also here we warmly recognize you ma thank you honorable justice alima sadia muhammad thank you the visitor to the university and the executive governor of Gumbi State, Your Excellency, the deputy governor of the state, also here present, the immediate past secretary to the government of the Federation, the honorable minister of transportation members of the national assembly here are present our royal fathers the pro chancellor of the universities and other members of the governing council the vice chancellor and principal officers heads of other tertiary institutions Vice-Chancellors, Rectors and Provosts here are present. Permit me to also recognize the, my colleague, the Executive Secretary of the National Commission for Colleges of Education in Nigeria, who is present. Very distinguished special guests, gentlemen of the press, our very, very erudite guest lecturer, members of the planning committee of this lecture, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I consider it a special honor to be chairing this occasion, which as the Vice Chancellor duly acknowledge, is a tradition that accompanies every convocation ceremony in our universities, that we organize a convocation lecture to focus on burning national issues with a view to preferring solutions to them. The topic for this year's convocation, which is a combined 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th convocation ceremonies, is education and development, the challenge of content, competence, and character in Nigerian universities. There is no doubt how topical this is when we are beginning to question and reimagining the fundamentals of the role of education in our national lives and what needs to be done to create that nexus, to sensitize our people on the importance of education and the rewards, the benefits of education in terms of preparing the human capital for every nation, in activating all these social and economic sectors, and in contributing to the overall well-being of society. We have chosen an erudite scholar, an accomplished writer, a political activist, 
a member, a former member of the National Assembly, so a lawmaker himself, and somebody who has spent the better part of his adult life contributing to the political, social, and economic development of our country, Dr. Isman Bugaji. I am confident that at the end of the lecture, he will extray our challenges of national development, the role of education, the nexus between investments in education and the lifelong returns in terms of benefits that both the individual and the society derives from it. As a researcher and one of the founding foremost researchers from the northern part of the country, I believe we will benefit from his experience, his thoughts, and the breadth of his insights. So I give it to, to appetize you and to say you're most welcome. I will come again at the end of the presentation to say a word or two to take home. But on behalf of the Governing Council, the University Management, our Chief Host, the Visitor and Executive Governor of the State, I welcome you all to this convocation ceremony. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much, Chairman of the occasion, Architect Sony S.T. Echono, and of course the Executive Secretary of TED Fund. Let's appreciate the Chairman once more, please. Thank you. Thank you. Your Excellency, the visitor to the university and all other distinguished guests, let me at this point in time invite the guest speaker, Dr. Usman Bugade, to please come forward. First of all, before he delivers the lecture, his citation is going to be read, and I will also be inviting the university orator, Dr. Isaac Ediba, to please come and read the citation. Thank you. So, the guest lecturer will be upstanding as the citation is being read, please. Thank you. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Gombe State, Alaji Muhammadu Inwayaya, CON, please kindly permit me to stand on the existing protocol. Citation on Dr. Usman Muhammad Bugaji. Dr. Usman Muhammad Bugaji was born on September 11, 1951, in Bugaji, Katsina State. He attended primary and secondary schools in Katsina and went He earned the Bachelor of Science in 1991. Dr. Osman Bugaji, 1990s, which led to the final onslaught against military rule in Nigeria. Following the return to civilian rule in 1999, he joined government as Special Advisor on Political Affairs in the Presidency. In 2003, he contested for and won a seat in the Federal House of Representatives, representing Dibia Keita Federal Constituency, where he chaired the House Committee on Foreign Affairs until 2007. Dr. Osman Bugaje was the National Secretary of the Ashon Congress of Nigeria, the major opposition party in the country, until December 2010. From 2011 to date, Bugaji, along with a team of academics and professionals from the North, formed the Arewa Research and Development Project to provide a development. In June 2000, Dr. Bugaji attended the senior managers in government from 
From July 1975 to June 1976, he was a staff pharmacist at the General Hospital in Kano. In 2015, he presented various seminars visiting lecturer. In the period from February 1995 to May 1995, he taught on Muslim thought and civilization in the Department of History, University of Meduguri, as a visit at the Faculty of Law, ABU Zaria. Dr. Usman Bugaje has attended many international conferences, among which is the International Conference on Islamic Identities in Sub-Saharan Africa, held at the School of Oriental and African Studies, University of London, in April 1991. Dr. Usman Bugaje was among the group of 34 prominent Nigerians that eventually midwived democracy in 1999. He and two others had the struggle. As special advisor on political affairs in the presidency, Bugaje played a strategic role in the limitation of the man Alghini. And as the then president, Obasan envoy to the Sudan, and Nairobi, meeting rebel leaders and delivering messages of African states. Your Excellency, the visitor. When the then president of Nigeria attempted to change the constitution, the group that was with the Senate, the 2007 movement, which was term. In the way of the Darfur crisis, Dr. as chair of the committee of the House of Representatives, Mobilizes in the formation of Nigerians for Darfur. He's a global citizen, a pan African Muslim, and happily married with children. On behalf of the visitor, I have the singular honor of our lecturer to present his lecture. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن دعا بدعوته إلى يوم الدين بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Your Excellency the Governor and the Visitor of this University the Deputy Governor Honorable Minister the former and I'm so glad that they seated him near me, the former secretary to the government, members of the National Assembly. Uh, I can see a few royal fathers, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Permit me to stand on established protocol. Uh, I was listening to this citation and I thought I should question people. I still remain and al -Majin still there, so don't be taken by this long citation. <laughs> uh, when I was uh, 101 topics came to my mind. I battled to see which many things to prioritize. And my thought was Greek once said, he said, in the world, there is actually only one good, and that is knowledge. And there is only one good, that is ignorance. Every good and every evil that you see comes from ignorance. So I decided to focus on the issue of that good which is knowledge should lead and of course what comes to mind are the various challenges and i reflected back when i graduated in 1975 as a young pharmacist i had five jobs three 
from pharmaceutical companies, one from, from my state government. Actually six, because Kano state government also offered me. The point I'm making is that we had a very good system of education that compared to anywhere in the world at that time. And things were very efficient.